Hi. Hey, everybody. So, big news day. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, we call ourselves, we call our Facebook and YouTube thing, Jim and Sandy's Adventures in Beaches, Beaches Boats, Boats, and, and buffoons. buffoons. Yes. We've not changed it yet. No. And we've we've been people, too busy to think about it. Well, and we've actually, in truth, we've had people say that, no, leave buffoons. They like it's it. Good. So, okay. I mean, consider the source. <laughs> Me. Us. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> so. Um, okay. So, well, boats, we had a sailboat. And we were going to show a lot of adventures on it. We've showed, I think, a couple of adventures from the snippets from last year. Yeah, a couple of pictures here and there. Yeah. Yep. But I'll tell you, it was kind of hard to do because we now we sold our sailboat just as of what a month ago, yeah. a few couple weeks ago, yeah, a couple weeks. weeks ago. So because I get seasick, yes, I get seasick on Lake Michigan. I got my seatbelt too deliberately. I'm I get motion sick, and we're here on six foot swells. <laughs> and we found this out too late. I mean. We've gone deep sea fishing. Mm -hmm. We've gone all, uh, we did the Keys Express. Key West Key Express. West Express. <laughs> and I was fine. But here's the big difference. Ocean, you got big swells, but they're farther apart. Lake Michigan, big swells right on top of each other. So three to five foot swells within four feet of each other is not good on an eight, 28 foot sailboat. A sick girl. Yeah. Very so, sick. Couldn't teach and her I was how trying to, to... I was trying to... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Well, I was just going to say, I was trying to teach her to sail, but can't teach somebody when they're sick. When they're sick. It didn't work yeah. out. So... What, what we did find out, though, huh. is we love just sitting on the boat having a couple of cocktails. We and, do. So, it's relaxing. Yes. It's a cool way to unwind. Right. So, anyway, we are now proud owners of a pontoon. pontoon. There she goes. Our first pontoon boat. <laughs> and I'll tell you, my sailing buddies have given me nothing but grief. But you know what? But we're getting a trailable. I, because Jim loves to sail. Yeah. He's been he's had a sailboat for many many years. And here was the <laughs> here was the deal. I will get rid of my sailboat if a we can get another one next year. And B, and of course that one's going to be but trailerable. You, say, you trailerable. didn't have to ask my no, permission. No, there wasn't. A, I mean, but I like sailboating. Yes, but I got to pick out the boat I want. It's the boat that will do well for both of us. So, yeah. but anyway, uh, we took delivery of our new pontoon Thursday, so about two days ago, and we launched um, it. Yes, and it was amazing. I got to tell you, I've never owned a, a pontoon boat, and I was absolutely amazed at how smooth it would ride. Like butter. Yep, it was great. So, with that being said, be prepared for lots of adventures on the water with the pontoon. Um, also, you know how to get a hold of us, those of you who know you are who you are. So, uh, make your reservations now. <laughs> So, <laughs> what else? So many friends lining up. For our <laughs> well, it's more family than friends. You know what they say? You got more friends when you got a boat. <laughs> anyway, I realized. Gosh, what kind of laugh is that anyway? <laughs> what kind of laugh is that anyway? <laughs> it's like walking a dog, guys, isn't it? <laughs> It's a very boisterous Sometimes quiet is really nice. <laughs> also, expect to see some uh, DIY stuff on the boat when we're doing any kind of modifying or anything like that. I want to video that for you guys. And any of you guys that want to do stuff on your boats, you might find use with some of that too. Mm -hmm. so. so anyway, I think that's it. Yeah. We don't want to drag on too long. No. So we hope you guys have an awesome week. And we'll catch you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.